everyone, and how are you? Today, we are making moldy. Now, what am I call? Moldy fish. Moldy fish, you ask. Well, what is moldy fish? Moldy fish is just a dog treat made with sardines. Now, I bought these wild planet sardines, and I want you to look at these. These cannot be sardines. These are little bitty fish. Sardines that I get, the cheap noan, whatever kind, they're like this and they're little bitty bitty. But these are huge. These look so healthy. And sardines are very healthy for your dogs. They have omega-3, they have vitamin D and B12. They are great for your dog's dental health. They are also great, uh, they can protect against, I can't read my notes, protect against kidney. <laughs> I can't read. Protect against kidney disease. And they also have, what else? Amino acids and Coke 10, CoQ10. So anyways, these are a great thing to give your dog. So we're going to do that. Also to this, we're adding one egg. And we're also putting in some coconut oil. Sorry, I want to wash my hands with coconut oil because we're going to put in some, some turmeric. We're putting in an eighth of turmeric, which this is a fourth, so we're going to cut that down a little bit. Turmeric's good for dogs, but to get the full benefits of turmeric, you really need to add in oil and pepper, strangely enough. That seems so weird, oil and pepper. And uh, got a little pepper here we're going to put it in. Oh, help if I turn it the right way. So, turmeric is good for arthritis. It's good for indigestion. It's also good for, what's the other thing? There were three things. Indigestion, oh, it's a natural blood thinner. But surprisingly enough, it doesn't, you have to have oil and pepper to make it do its full job. And it's not the spicy turmeric that you buy in the bakery aisle. It's more of a health turmeric. And actually, this has a really nice smell. Um, turmeric can be used for a lot of things, but I bought this big one because I was going to try to do some different things. You can actually make a what they call a golden paste with turmeric and put it on wounds. The only problem is the dog will lick it off, so you have to do other things with that. So we've got our coconut oil, we've got our pepper, we've got our egg, we've got our sardines, and we're going to stir these up here. And that's why Milo's not with me today because he doesn't like anything that makes noise and I'm trying to be done. Now, Costa, I'm going to try to remember to get a picture and upload Costa. He has been licking this spot on his foot forever. And I bought a dog collar, a little more like a pillow, like what you'd wear on an airplane. And I thought it was working, but I realized he could still reach his foot. So I've ordered one that's just a cone of shame and put it on him. And we'll see where we go from there because he really just needs to stop licking that spot. It's very bad for him. So we got this all mixed up all nice. And we're going to, oh, I can smell that. We're going to take that off. Milo's over there. Can you hear him? Milo, stop. <laughs> He's looking at me. Put in a fourth of a cup of coconut or almond flour or make your own oat flour or buy oat flour. Anything but wheat flour because wheat flour has gluten. And most dogs are gluten intolerant. So we're going to mix this up. And it got nice and thick. And it said we could put this in molds or... I didn't like the way the molds turned out the other day. They seemed to make it too moist and didn't really cook it well on the bottom. So I'm not really a fan of the silicone molds. So we're just going to take some of this and we're going to pop it into our handy dandy stoneware. I have a messy drawer. Stoneware muffin pan here. And we're going to put it in and then we're going to bake it at 350 for 15 minutes if I'm correct yes actually this is thick enough you could probably roll it out and cut it out but I'm all about the easiness I can certainly smell the fishiness it is sticking together real good now I use coconut flour which to me is not as refined as almond and seems to be more of a um, thicker, grainier, coarser 
to me than others. So we're gonna pop this down in here so that they're all in there sort of nice and neat. And then we're gonna pop it in the oven for 15 minutes. And we'll be back in 15 minutes to see how it turned out. I do appreciate you all coming. Please, if you like the video, if you don't like the video, but I'm funny to watch, like and subscribe. I'm trying to get this going for a while. One other thing, um, I think that was it. Oh, I wanted to show you what I bought the other day. I bought this, isn't it the coolest? It was on sale, can you see it? It is so cool. It is a camper, oh, that light's doing that. Camper set, it has the little tent and all the little pieces with it. And I bought a water table that was on sale at Aldi's and I'm actually looking for another thing at Aldi's that I've come to already twice this week, but it's like a little water table plus a sand table plus um, like a cookout little grill area and it has a canopy. And it's supposed to be there this week and I've been to Aldi's twice and I'm gonna try to go to the one across town tomorrow and see if they have it. But I thought with that, and we have the little camera set, we can have a really nice plaything in the yard that's not too big and not permanent um, until they get older. So winter and Haven can come over and play. Anyways, I'll see y'all in less than 15 minutes. Bye. Alrighty, 15 minutes later and the buzzer has gone off. And what have we got here? Oh, they look really nice. They didn't stretch out very much, um, but that's okay. Like I said, I think they would have been wonderful um, rolled out and cut with cookie cutters. So I'm gonna make a note of that that next time we should do that. But pretty, that turmeric is that nice yellowness. They really have a great smell, y'all. Okay, we're outside. Here's Costa with his lovely cone of shame. And because he's got the cone of shame, we're going to hand feed him. Oh, my goodness, he swallowed that hole. Here you go, Milo. I tell you what, they love the sardines. They love the fish. I'm sorry, Costa, here. Mama helped you a little bit. Mama helped you. There we go. Oh, that was definitely a hit. They really do enjoy the sardine ones. And they're very healthy for your babies. See his foot down there? Right down there. So we're going to keep it so he can't lick on it. Yes, we are. Alrighty. We'll see you next week at Gray Lee Tales.